The countdown starts now. From New Orleans, chess blocks from Bourbon Street. For Los Angeles, their incredible journey continues. Ripping through this schedule, never looking back. Even on the road tonight, you can bet this team will come out swinging. Coming up next. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, it's Los Angeles as they'll be playing against the Pelicans. And for New Orleans, facing off here against a very talented ball club, this is a great opportunity for them to put all their skill and talent on display in front of the home fans. An approaching all-star break. It's been an interesting year so far, Kenny. What uh, stands out to you the most? I like seeing the breakout players. You know, young guys who have matured and can now be counted on on a daily basis. And every year we see a few role players who I call others step up and show that they're more than that. I myself was a role player who became very, very good. Oh, yeah, you are a role player. I am. Yeah, his role was the dominant. Oh. It's pretty oh, nice. Right or there. roll over the competition. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> that is good. Know your role. Here's Kevin Harlan. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. They're in a bit of a holding pattern, hoping to take that next leap. And when you look at Los Angeles, they've blown away the so-called experts' opinion. People who didn't realize how high their ceiling really was. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got the Bulldozers. Christie is out there with Williams. Then there's the Professor. And it's Lewis in at the two. And for New Orleans, Christie is out there with Anthony. And there's Maverick. Then it's Livingston. And it's Burton in at the point guard position. A Clark midseason rumors now in full session. When a player requests a trade, how strongly do you think that affects team chemistry? You know, Kevin, I'm all for players voicing their choice and actually um, having an opportunity to express themselves but it can be detrimental if a player in the middle of a season makes it known that he's not interested in being there it can have a terrible effect on on team chemistry in my opinion i tell you what it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene pass to livingston outside griffin five to shoot Passes it to Burton. Bang shot. No good. Griffin against Lewis. Pass to the Bulldogs. Here's Christie. Here's the Professor. It's good from long range. The Professor's got five now. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Griffin finds Anthony. And Griffin scores. The assist by Anthony. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. There's the pass to the Bulldogs. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Livingston, the pass to Christie. Here's Levingston, pass to Griffin. Christie with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. From the arc. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Here's Griffin. Lewis grabs the board. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Now, here's Lewis. 
Let's it go from deep. They grab their own miss. The bulldozer shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the game. And take a look back at last season and what a season it was for them from the free throw line. 82% as a group. one is off. And he's good on the second. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Rocket six. It's deflected. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Here's the professor. Against the Lakers, he was really on his game. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Here's Burton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Who is outside? Beyond the arc, sinks the triple. Lewis has got five. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively, you have to take something away. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Clark, the NBA gives out so many awards at the end of the season. Is there an award missing that you'd like to see? You know what? I think they've got the bases covered really well with the number of awards they give out, Kevin. But I would like to perhaps see consideration given to a sophomore campaign award. That would be kind of cool because sometimes the rookie of the year, at least recently, has been a little cloudy because a rookie had been in the league a year, Ben Simmons, case in point and then was counted. It was actually technically his second year, but his first year of playing. Well, a sophomore award might be something worth adding to the list. That's a great idea. Los Angeles making a switch here. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. Do they love to run. I mean, nobody did it better. They would get out in the lanes and push the ball even after makes. Pelicans trail by 14. Passes it to Rivers. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Stolen by Lewis. And now running up the court. Lewis pushing it up. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Now here's Rivers. We saw the 10 points last game. Gets it to go from beyond the up. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Lewis. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. Rivers surveying the D. Down to five on the shot clock. That shot off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. 
And you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Burton, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Who is outside? Pass to the professor. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. Griffins check in for the Pelicans. And then for Los Angeles, Mr. Move comes in for Williams. And it's Bonner in for Lewis. That one misses. Pelicans trail by 15. In the corner, it's Griffin from past the arc. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's the professor, defended by Griffin. Out to the right wing. Bonner, that's a two-pointer. Cans the shot from the wing. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Trains the three-pointer. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Los Angeles leads by 11. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. Pelicans trail by 11. Back to Griffin. And there's the pass to Rivers. And the lead is down inside, single digits. Rivers has got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Pelicans. And for Los Angeles, we've got Mr. Moves. Honor is out there with the professor. And there's Christie, and it's Sharp, and at the center. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And for the Pelicans, the shot's good. Rivers has got 10. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Pass to the professor. Griffin with the steal. Rivers with it. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Bonner. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now here's Rivers. He's got 10. Clock at four. Christie with the rebound. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. 
Here's Bonner. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Here's the professor. 12 points for him. Pass to man. Plays it up off the glass. And Los Angeles leads by 10. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Outside Griffin. Here's Bernie. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Now the pass to man. Here's the professor, defended by Griffin. Here's the professor. And again, Los Angeles out, with the triple. Out. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. A lot of players uh, keep track of their stats, uh, their own team stats. But Clark, how much do guys pay attention to stats in game? I have no idea. I mean, I know stat sheets are given to the coaches during the timeouts throughout the game, but I don't think players in general are able to monitor their numbers. Now, there are exceptions to every rule. I imagine every team may have a player or two that can chart his numbers during the game, but the vast majority are too occupied with playing the game to keep up with the stats. And they're looking up at the scoreboard, too, aren't they? There's, because they give individual oh, stats up on the board. Oh, man. Yeah, I tell you, that and then watching uh, replays is one of my pet peeves with players. I mean, right. they should just focus on playing the game instead of always looking up to see if they fouled it. Los Angeles making a switch here. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Well, you look at the professor leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. He did miss many easy chances last year, and he made the most of the tough ones as well. What a fantastic percentage. Here's Christie. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 11 feet away. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Here's Mr. Moves. Covered by Anthony. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. 18 points for the professor. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here's Burton. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Here's Christie. And another three for New Orleans. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's man again, Los Angeles. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Pelicans trail by 13. Burton, the pass to Livingston. Here's Burton. High arcing shot. Here's the professor, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Burton. No points in the game yet for him. Outside Anthony. There's the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Wow, fired that bounce pass in there. Beautiful. Los Angeles leading by 13. The professor passes to man. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Burton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Bounce pass Anthony. Six on the shot clock. Poked away. Here's Mr. Moves to the left side wing. Floats it up for Williams. An emphatic LU jam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Here's Levingston. Yep, that one goes. Levingston's got his first two points. And so it's Los Angeles sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We come back right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And guys, for Los Angeles, Kenny, what did you see from them? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason why it's a blowout right now, and they played well. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? Well, the bottom line is they got to defend the three-point line much better. They were concentrating all their effort into protecting the paint, and these guys were standing behind the line, yak em. Yakum, Splaka Kataya. And that strategy backfired, Ernie. They gave up far too many open looks, and all those threes killed him. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from the professor. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Here's Burton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Taking a look at Los Angeles. The professor out there with shake and bake. Then it's Williams. Then there's Christie. And it's the bulldozer in at the five. Shot clock at six. Cloak loose. Taken away by Williams. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Over Christie. Williams can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position. You could see the frustration on his face. Los Angeles leading by 14. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Lewis down low. 
Passes to the professor. Shot clock at five. Williams against Griffin. Batted off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Pass to Burton. Three-pointer on the way. Pelicans keep it alive. And no good on the shot. Trying to follow through after the contact, but he'll shoot two at the line instead. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Pelicans shooting their first free throws of the night right here. That free throw, no good. Clark, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journeys. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids, find their lane, enjoy running in it, and do well in that lane. It's uh, joy indescribable. Here's Christy. The professor passes to Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Williams has got the first points to start out the third quarter for Los Angeles. To the wing on the left. Inside, here's Griffin. And he converts the layup. Griffin's got seven. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Lewis passes to the Bulldogs. Anthony against Lewis. Pass to the professor. An absolute bomb from three-point range. The professor's got 24 points. Pelicans trail by 17. Burton, the pass to Griffin. Here's Christy. He kicks to Griffin. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Here's Burton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That's tipped. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. The professor passes to Lewis. Here's the bulldozer. The pass to Christie. Fires for three. Burton grabs the miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Christie. Passes it to Burton. Puts up a three. Hands it from downtown. Burton's got his first three points of the game. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. We've seen the professor really having a great game. And you know, Kevin, he's on another level right now. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly.
Looking at the numbers for Shake and Bake, last season's performance for him, second in assists, and he was just so incredibly consistent from the foul line, had the NBA's third highest mark. And back to him finishing runner-up in assists, his court vision, his ability to control the pace of a game makes him especially impossible to defend. Here's Burton, drills it from outside. Burton's got six in the quarter. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Man passes to Sharp. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to Bonner. Jacks up a three. And no good that time. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Here's Levingston, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Let's a floater go. Bonner no good. Pelicans trail by 13. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. Here's Verney. And again, New Orleans with the triple. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Here is Bonner. Here's Mr. Moves. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. Mr. Moves got his third basket of the night. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Rivers. Ten points for him. Stolen. Pass to Bonner. The nine-footers on the mark. Bonner's got six. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. And the pass to Levingston. Six to shoot. Here's Burton. Flying his luck from deep. And another three for New Orleans. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Yeah, Greg, you know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Now here's Lewis. He's got nine. Pulls up. Again, Los Angeles. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. All around, it's hard to point to any one area where they haven't had the upper hand in this game. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. For three, offensive rebound, Sharp. Another shot, and the layup is good. And Los Angeles leads by 16. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Bonner. Bulldozer is out there with Shake and Bake. And there's Mr. Moves. And it's Sharp, and it's the five, roaming the paint. 
out of their last hot makes. How about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. Here's Mr. Moves. Six on the shot clock. Releases. Again, Los Angeles. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. All right, Clark, game is on the line. One free throw to make to win a big game. Who is up there for you? I'd go with your colleague and mine. Oh, yeah. But since he's no mm -hmm. longer in uniform today, I will go with Steph Curry and Malcolm Brogdon. Great names. First free throw is good, so it's both teams making substitutions here. Both shots good from the strike. Here's the professor. Stolen. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. Anthony, the pass to Burton. And he drops in the layup off the glass. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Los Angeles leading by 11. Here's the professor. Kicks to Lewis. Down low. It's deflected. Griffin attacking. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee. But who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Christie with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Now here's Griffin. And too long on the shot. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Sharp, the pass to Williams. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Rocket two, the professor. The long distance three is buried. The professor's got 29. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. And another three for New Orleans. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Lewis. Passes it to the professor. Shot clock at six. Lewis against Anthony. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, The Professor. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Brad Stevens went over with his guys during the break. To be honest, he was fired up. He asked his team, how badly do you want this? Because those guys over there, they're going to give it everything they've got, which means we have to do the same. See if they can match them emotion for emotion. Kevin? Here's Christy. Here's the professor. Griffin with some nice D. Here's Burton. He's guarded by Williams. Pass to Livingston. But he recovers it. The offensive rebound. The Bulldogs is champion for Los Angeles. Los Angeles leading by 12. Here's the professor. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lock at six. Outside Lewis. Rebounded by Livingston. Levingston's got four rebounds now tonight. Griffin passes to Burton. Pass to Levingston. Tries from seven. Count that one. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. The pass to the professor. Here's the bulldozer, covered by Anthony. Lewis against Griffin. Los Angeles with another miss. The Pelicans have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Here's Christie. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And then that's gotta happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Now here's Williams. To the inside, passes it to the professor. Lewis outside. Shoots over Griffin. Lewis gets the bucket. And Los Angeles leads by nine. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Here's the professor. And so Los Angeles takes the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.